I heard a door. Oh, he's in there. Get picked. Yep. Yo. Phasmophobia, the multiplayer ghost hunting game where in-game communication is very key. Today, we're gonna to show you how to set up your windows to properly get your mic recognized in the game so that you can communicate effectively with your teammates, as well as suggest some settings that you can use to make communication in game a little bit easier. The first thing that we're gonna to need to do is make sure that our windows is properly recognizing our microphone. To do that, we are going to go to the little speaker in the bottom right hand corner, right click it and go to open sound settings. Under here, you're going to find that you have two options, output and input. Output is going to be what you hear and input is going to be your microphone. So to make sure that your microphone is properly picking up, make sure to click on the down arrow, find your device and select it. An easy way to test this is while you're talking into your mic, you should see the blue bar moving up and down like this. By just making this small tweak, your mic will automatically be picked up in game. What we will be showing you next is what we suggest you do to get the best performance of your microphone in game. There are two types of voice communication in Phasmophobia, proximity chat and global chat. Proximity chat is going to be what you hear when you're close to someone. It'll sound very natural and unaltered. Level two here in the bedroom. Global chat is what you'll hear when someone's talking to you from the truck when you're in the building. You're using a walkie talkie, therefore it sounds lower quality. I got the heartbeat, it was right here. What we suggest you do is set up your proximity chat to be an open mic. This way you can talk to those who are around you without having to hold a button down to talk to them. To do this, simply go into options, PC settings, and scroll all the way to the bottom. There's a setting called local push to talk. Make sure it is off. After you've turned off local push to talk, there's one more setting we suggest you do, and that is rebind your global chat because it's default position B is very hard to use while you're walking and using equipment. So what we suggest is that you rebind it to caps lock. To do this, you go under controls, scroll down just a little bit till you see global push to talk. To change this, you simply click next to it and select whatever key you would like. As I suggested, I use caps lock. You can use whatever you like. It's just recommended you use a button that you can walk around and press at the same time. And that's all there is to it. At this point, you can feel free to jump into any lobby and be able to openly communicate with all of your teammates. So that's all we have for this little session. If there's any other advice or tips you would like to see on this game or any others, please leave us a comment and let us know what you'd like to see next. Until then, game on.